Got my oldest son here with me today. We're going to go and uh, try to find some pyrite. Uh, we are along a shale um, road cutout right here. So we'll see what we can find. Hopefully something good. All right, so we got something here. See those little squares on there? It's got pretty coloring. You never know what you're going to find when you come out here rock hounding. If you know what kind of skull this is, uh, leave me a note down in the comments. Just pick this up from down here and all this area that's fallen off. Always check uh, check the ground because when it uh, gets exposed with all the rains and stuff, it'll just plop right out and just roll on down. These little runoff areas are really good for finding stuff. Looks like somebody's been mining here before. Somebody left a screwdriver. See right here, right above my finger, you see a few, oops, there's a few cubes right in there of the uh, pyrite. So when you see these little rust spots, that's good indicators of uh, where the iron pyrite might be. There's more up in there. We're going to nose around in here for a little bit. Nope. Oh. See some little mites. See, this is what they look like if they've uh, fallen out. You'll have like these little indentions. Those would be good indicators to look down along the ground because one of them probably rolled out. Well, we're climbing up here. We're probably, I'm about 10 feet. He's about 3 feet. Well, he's about 5 feet up. And I'm a little bit further. Got my Frank Castle t-shirt on. So you got to find the shape that's different and so you have all of these horizontal side to side ones and then you got this little nodule right here I don't think it's going to be any good we'll see yep just a, uh, a degraded piece see look it just crumbles apart in my hands that's unfortunate but it is what it is now I got to get down there without falling Pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, where's that other one you saw? I don't know if this one has as much on it. It's got a few little things. And yeah, we still clean it up. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better right over Oops. there. My son identified a whole seam uh, starting right here. 
and it runs all through here. Here's a little piece of it. I got a little spot right here, right above my finger. A spot right here. Got another little one. There. What's that? That's uh, falling apart. A little piece right there. So there's another little spot right here above my finger. So do you see it? Right here and right here. Here's that last piece after cleaning it up with a brush and water. So I found a couple more of these uh, seams uh, that just run through here. You see there's a little bit right there on my finger. I just knocked it down. But whole seam right there. Come down a little bit. Check out this old seam right here. Running down through here, all through here, all the way back. See a little piece right there above my finger. There's another one right there. Yeah, a little nodule right here. All right, do you see that little spot right there above my finger? Ooh, looks like there's another. Oh, I just lost it. I knocked that other one out. Oh, here it is. I can hang on to this one. Oh. I lost my bag. Got a little female fence lizard. See that little cube shape right there above my finger? Oh, I might be able to just pop that out. 
So I climbed up here to the top. Uh, right there is the top. And I've got about 15 feet underneath me. But check this out. Check out those cubes. Oh, it's falling apart. Do you know what kind of lizard that is? I do not remember. I've seen them before online. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Say like Great Plains something maybe. Kind of a lime green up top. Uh huh. Goes down to kind of a turquoise and then the bright blue. You see kind of a gradient there. It looks. Why are you out of breath, son? I ran over here. Looks like it. It's kind of orange. I'm just going down into that blue color. Uh huh. Looks like we got a ball just sitting right out here on the edge. Just waiting to be picked up. That's beautiful, son. That's what it looks like there, anyways. Oh. Yeah. Keep him in the yeah, shade. I was going to say, we need to get him in. So sometimes you can identify these things by their shape. Sometimes you can identify them by their color, also. So if you're looking through here, you look through here, and then you see something that's a little bit more on the purple side. Once you're able to identify what they look like and the various forms, uh, it'll be much easier to spot them. See, here's another one right there. It looks like it's already broken. Okay. The whole shell piece is loose. This front part right here is going to break off. Most of the stuff that I've been finding today is... Uh, old and decayed and just breaking apart and I'm not going to keep most of it but there's still some really cool pieces to be found all right y'all I think I'm going to call her quits for the day um, got some pretty good stuff got a lot of uh, stuff that's just decaying um, not worth keeping Overall, I had a fun time. I didn't do as well today as what I'd done on other trips, uh, but still, I'm glad I was able to get out and see what it looks like about uh, four months last since last time I've been here. Sorry, there's a loud truck. One of the bad things about being right by a highway. Anyhow, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.